Hello and welcome to Cure for Conflict. I'm David Martinez. This week we're going to be focusing on the Arab Spring. Let's all remember this. The Arab Spring is a revolutionary wave that began in 2010. While originally set off by the Tunisian Revolution, it spread quickly and affected five countries. For now, let's just focus on Egypt. Egypt's revolution took place in 2011. Some of their main causes include corruption, police brutality, and economic issues. Egypt's president during the time, Hosni Mubarak, denied any accusations of the police abusing their power. Despite this statement, the Egyptian Organization for Human Rights documented 30 incidents of torture in 2009 alone. When the Egyptian government tried to eliminate internet access to prevent protests via social media, citizens instead brought their protests to the streets. Tens of thousands of protesters marched in major Egyptian cities in order to increase awareness. On June 6, 2010, Khalid Mohammed Saeed was brutally beaten to death by two police officers. This incident gained a lot of attention very quickly, making it impossible to ignore the acts of police brutality. One witness reported that the police did not even question Saeed before beating him. Saeed's death became a huge factor in causing the Egyptian revolution. Another important issue Egyptians faced was emergency law. This is a tool Mubarak used to suspend constitutional rights and limit citizen political activity. While advocated as a temporary solution to bring Egypt under control, Mubarak brought up the terrorist uprising as a reason for keeping emergency law in effect. Now let's dig deeper into Egypt's president. Mubarak has been Egypt's president since 1981. He won five consecutive elections by a large margin. Five consecutive elections? Which president has won five elections before? We'll talk about that in another scene, but this has caused the political opponents to claim the elections were rigged. Rigged, I say. Rigged, I say. Anyway, let's go into the mid-2000s here. In 2005, Mubarak was the only candidate as his opponent was imprisoned before the elections. Due to low trust citizens had in the Egyptian political system, 2007 saw the lowest voter turnout in years. Years. Throughout 2011, the Egyptian revolution grew at a massive rate very quickly. Mubarak tried to placate rioters by delegating some of his powers to the vice president. But this did little to calm angry protesters. Later that year, Mubarak was forced to step down as president of Egypt. This left Egypt under the control of the military. Well, that's all for this week. I'm going to find out how Hosni Mubarak got elected president five times in Egypt. But what you viewers can do is like the youth channel's Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I said like, follow, and subscribe to the youth channel on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We'll be back next week with another edition of Cure for Conflict, and I'll have the Egyptian president on the spotlight with me. Maybe.